Alright, world of YouTube, second video of the day, and I need to go over my review for YouTube of the Strangers. Oh, man. Yeah, so I took a little time out last night to gather my thoughts, because of the week I've been having. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, what better friggin' movie than The Strangers. It's <clears throat> based on a true story. I still have to look up on that. See where it was actually took in place. Because they don't say nothing of in the content of what town, state. But, uh... I mean, like any other horror flick. I mean, it starts off in a dark, gloomy place. And, uh... Just, just the um, concept of the story, I mean, it's kind of tough for Hollywood, I guess, to make some movies around here because, you know, with all the uh, actual movies that were, you know, non-fiction, I mean, fiction, and, yeah, non-fiction, I mean, that was made fiction, <laughs> You get into these movies and you see in the same concept, but this is yeah, being based on true story. So I'm taking it in my thoughts and theories that this movie was copycat killers. Because they all dress up with masks if you've seen the previews. I do recommend to see it. It is, you know, it is good. It is what it is. I mean, being based on a true story, I mean, everybody was... Screaming, jumping in there in the movies, and they were friggin' clapping in the end because there was a couple heroes that stayed alive. But I won't reveal no, not too much, you know, yep. Yeah. But uh, all in all, I mean, it, <clears throat> this just goes with the, my videos I've been doing of, uh, you know, who lives among us. Because, you know, you got these. Creeps out there, creepy people that just like to terrorize and haunt people. That's exactly what these people did. I mean, someone asked one person, Why are you doing this? And you know, they say, Well, because uh, it's fun or something stupid. I, you know, came out the dumbest remark, and of course, yeah, that was just the end of that. And, but, you know, some people get their kicks off this shit. That's what has made me is what I am today. Hell, even getting out of the movie with my wife and son there, we were talking about it. and <clears throat> You know, they didn't like it. Because it's like, oh, it's the same as another movie we saw. Da -da -da -da. You know what? But you got to realize. People got to realize. I mean, you can go into this movie say it sucks all you want or... If you enjoy, I mean, I kind of liked it. Like I said, it wasn't too great because, yeah, I mean, but you got to think. You got to think like this. You're going into a situation that really happened. And like me, when I get into them, you know, movies that really happen, whether it be on a TV show <clears throat> or a documentary or whatever, you know, you get into the feel of the movie and you come up with your own thoughts and theories if you have a killer instinct. Some people don't have, and this these people in there, you know, they kind of had one because the uh, uncle of the guy, which if you see the movie, you'll understand it, but the uncle of the guy had a freaking gun hidden in his you know, bedroom drawer. But to use that gun, <laughs> it's like, you know, one kid in there got scared and ran and didn't shoot. And that's the question with this shit. When you get into these situations, what would you do? Especially when, if you're in a situation where you watch someone get murdered right before your eyes. You know? Would you hesitate? I can't kill. I don't know how to kill. Every instinct that you have in the back of your mind that that door is locked. I think anybody would have the hopefully the smarts to say and open it and say oh all in a bit of rage you build up that rage and you do what you gotta do to survive 
And I mean, Jesus. It's brutal out there. And I mean, this movie was a... Like I said, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah it did act out into some other movies I saw. But you know, hey, these are true events. The other one I saw was just fiction. So it's like... You know, I get what I what my wife and kid were saying, but you know what? It's like put yourself in someone's shoes like that. You know, and you and you sit there and you run like they run, and you put. And that's what I do when I get in the movies and stuff, like the Titanic. And I went to watch the Titanic, and. uh you know, they're on the back of the ship, and the thing is up in the air, you know, and it was going down, getting ready to go down. And the guy's screaming, you know, to what's her name, to hold your breath, Jack is screaming to the girl to hold your breath. So just like in the movie, I do these things. I freaking hold my breath just as long as I can, or I would if I was in that predicament. Me, honestly, yeah, getting a door, getting a friggin' table... You know, back then, though, you got to think, people didn't, you, you all these rich, yuppie people, and then some of the, yeah, the passengers below, they couldn't get up to the rich part of the ship. <clears throat> yeah, you be grabbing anything that goddamn floats. And yeah, Jack got on the door, got a door. So you see someone doing that, if you're not got the smarts, you go get yourself a door and say, I've seen that guy doing it, so I'm going to do it. So, I mean... All in all, man, you, you, you got to have a killer instinct, though, in these situations. And that's what people lack of when they do get murdered and killed. I mean, you don't got to let it control your damn mind and go off and do something on your own, though. No. <laughs> but if your life is being threatened, if your life is a perfect example, Roadhouse. Just watched that last night when I got home, too. I clean up the joint around here a little bit, but when uh, Sam Elliott's talking in the, you know, talking to <clears throat> Patrick Swayze about how he had to kill a man because a guy pulled a gun on him. And he's like, you got two seconds, amigo, to take your ass and, you know, either do what you got to do and kill him or you get killed yourself. Perfect example. So, I mean, they ripped that dude's throat out in the movie. Threw, pull a gun on me? Yeah, that's right. You know what? You got these split seconds. I mean, some people got so built up with fear they can't do nothing. That's it. But some people, you got to let the adrenaline flow. And I mean, I was feeling every minute. You know, I seen mistakes in that movie that them people did if it was reenacting the real way of how it was act. Oh, yeah, man. I'll tell you, they, yeah, well, you know, they didn't put up a good enough fight. All in all, because, yeah, they were they were the type of people that were, you know, just would be like, when the father was funny, because he's like, what's a queef? <laughs> if anybody knows what a queef is, I'll let you, he's over there, what's a queef? So someone had to throw a little comedy in there, but, <laughs> oh, man. All in all, it's, I mean, you, if you've seen a movie like it and you do start saying it sucks, but you got to think, you got to put yourself and realize in that situation what it would be like. So, I mean, all in all, something to think about. It does give you something to think about. And, and you know what? I, I think people should go see this movie. I mean, watch what happens, because like I said, they didn't put up much of a fight. And... Take the knowledge from this movie just in case maybe so so it did ever happen to you. You would do things different. You would do things better. Because you got to think there's people out there crazies every day. And hell, now they're starting to give teachers guns in classrooms for Christ's sake. What I think should happen, they should just put security guards in the high schools. I mean, come on. That's where this educational thing goes. If you got a danger in society, how about stop letting illegal immigrants 
get stuff for free and put the money to where it should be used, like in the school system, for more teachers or more security. How about that? You no, know, right? People got to realize it's not guns that kill people. It's people who use the guns that kill. And if you got to go through every individual, every goddamn day through the United States that buys a damn gun and fully background check them. Because if you got the clean person buying them and selling them on the street and erasing that serial number, how are you tracking friggin' guns back to someone? Or if you got the black market, which you cannot track for nothing. Hmm? All right, think of that. And you think about this movie that you go, I recommend everybody go see this movie because if you don't know what a crazy person is dressing up in masks or, you know, just randomly serial killing and want to go, who knows how many more people these people killed. In this movie, they just seemed to just snapped on an instant and just went on to a one killing spree. Who knows how many more happened, but it just, you know, I'd have to look more into this story to see if there was any more killings around there and they just didn't get caught. But these people in the movie that, you know, step up and fight. They didn't do a good job, but they did well. You know, you be proud of them. Give them a huge salute. But uh, I won't reveal nothing more than that. You don't know. You can't. You, know, you can't. I can't say they died or survived. But all I will say is that they put up a fight as much as they could, being from a higher class society of, you know. I mean, one went around with a Ramones t-shirt, if that tells you anything, so had some little delinquent in them, but not to the standards which you would think that they would go fight killers, but, <laughs> but anyways, I recommend everybody go watch this movie, and then you think twice if you want to have gun control in your country. Because I'm telling you right now, with them crazy people out in them world, out in this world, them crazy people. And this movie will put that all in one perspective. Tell me what you want to do then. If you got someone like these people chasing you down, hunting you like game. Oh, I, I think guns should be banned. I think gun control. But you know what? Think twice when you go see, go see the movie. It doesn't matter if it sucks or not, whether it's stupid or not, something that scares the shit of you or not. You go watch this movie and you'll get a different view on why guns should stay in line and thoroughly, you know, get the wrong people off the streets that are selling them. How's that? Kill the black market. And we'll have no more murders. No more s school shootings. You get to the source, but you'll never find it <laughs> because some dark secrets are hidden in that, so I won't say no more. But at least if you are sane enough, right, to handle a gun and own it, at least you can defend yourself. And I think laws should change. You step on my property, there are states that do this, but some don't. Even Russia has stepped up to women getting raped and beaten or getting hunted down by serial rapists that they are now allowed to kill their attackers. That's right. Salute to Russia for doing that. And that should be brought here right in our soil of the United States. You a woman... A couple of these people in this movie were women. Now, I swear to God, if they would have thought and had this in their minds, and if the law was changed back then, I think the whole movie would have never even been made. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But anyways, that's my review. It's a good lesson to learn. 
I mean, it wasn't that, I mean, it was good, it wasn't excellent because, you know, but you know what, I'm changing all that to go watch it. Doesn't matter if it sucked or not. It was just playing right out, a slap in America to face that want to gun control and take guns off the street or whatever they're trying to do. Which I don't understand because you take them off the do all this, you're still going to have them through the black market. Still going to have some good soul that has a clean record selling them out and scratching serial numbers off. So use your brains, America. Go watch The Strangers and tell me what you think then about gun control. Till that next video, YouTube Nation, be safe, take care, and be safe because you don't know who lives among us. Out.